Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and today's industrial craft tutorial is on the new item added in 1.23, the foam sprayer. It's actually a pretty neat item and it works rather well. Um, let me show you guys how it works. Uh, first off, we're going to need to get into our rotary macerator here, get ourselves a piece of coal dust. You can see I just recently placed this rotary macerator. We're going to need a piece of clay to go in there. Oh, you know what, the rotary macerator may not process the clay because the rotary macerator doesn't know it can process clay yet. So let's get a regular macerator going real quick. All right, so I've got a standard macerator here for now. And put a piece of clay in there. No, maybe not. Let's check out one of these guys of clay. Is that what we have to do? Yeah, that's what we have to macerate. So I'm wondering if that'll fit in the rotary macerator. No, it doesn't. Once the rotary macerator gets updated, perhaps it will. Uh, so we get some clay dust when we uh, macerate that clay. Let's go ahead and just give ourselves another piece of coal dust. And then for the foam sprayer's materials, we need to put some clay dust, some coal dust, some redstone, and some buckets of water. And that gets us construction foam. You can see we get three construction foam per creation of this recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself six and throw them in a singularity compressor, which of course, probably the same issue that we had with these clay, we need to get this going with a regular compressor. So let's grab one of those. And put the construction foam in there. And you can see it compressing along. While that goes, I'm gonna go ahead and build the foam sprayer itself. And it's actually a really easy recipe, just a wooden stick and some cobblestone, believe it or not, and you've got your CF sprayer. Pretty nice device. And you can see, once we compress our construction foam, we get a CF pellet. So let's just snag those two that we've got. That's enough for now. Place your CF sprayer in a crafting table with a CF pellet, and it fills it up a little bit. But if we go ahead and ourselves a few more pellets. You'll see putting eight in a crafting table will give you a full sprayer. Or you can just do one and one and one, it's up to you. And it'll incrementally fill up. So, you put an empty CF sprayer in there with one. No, it's probably not going to work. With one, we get a partially filled one. See how it slowly fills up? Looks like a charm. So anyway, what's this guy do? Well, you right click. And it places down this weird little formation of blocks. Ooh. Ooh. And you can see that given some time, uh, the foam here will solidify and turn into blocks. So that's a block right there whereas this spotted stuff is not a block. And give it enough time, it fills up. You can also use scaffolding, which I believe is new in 1.2.3. Scaffolding recipe is like so. Actually, these guys go down here, and there we go. 16 scaffold from those one little bit of materials. Uh, scaffolding is really nice to build with, by the way. If you uh, right-click, it places one down, and then if you left-click on the one that you've placed, it puts one on top. You can even left-click on the bottom here, and it'll put a fourth up top there. So you can quickly build up. And then you can climb the scaffolding to get to the top. How cool is that? Even better, if you knock off the bottom piece, just like, I guess, cactus is a good example of what this is similar to, everything falls. So you get all your scaffolding back. So it's a real quick way to build stuff up. Spiffy. I guess it's a little buggy. It is a new item after all. So yeah, that works really rather well. And you can set up a... Um, scaffolding area here. 
So let's say we want to go something like this. Right. And let me get myself some more scaffolding here real quick. Okay. So you can see I'm just building this up. And then I can spray my foam in there. And the foam sprayer will only fill up in the scaffolding. And it looks like foam you can actually sink in, so just be a little careful. But yeah, that works pretty well. And then you can knock your scaffolding off. got this nice little building block here. So that's pretty cool. And you can imagine a lot of neat things you can do with scaffolding if you really got, you know, a little creative with it. You can build some pretty cool designs and you can really use it to build up like a little wall pretty quickly. And I'm not 100% sure on this next fact, but I believe that this material here that the scaffolding dries into, or I'm sorry, the foam dries into, I believe that that's more explosion resistant than uh, normal stone, but it's less explosion resistant than reinforced stone or obsidian. So basically, you're not gonna, you know, be better than reinforced stone, but a little bit more explosion resistant than regular stone. Now, there's something else you guys should know about this CF sprayer material. If we go ahead and put some sticks along here and some wool on the end, sorry, it's not sticks, it's actually iron that I need. I get a painter. Cool. Let's go ahead and get ourselves another painter. And I'm gonna put get some dandelion yellow here and some rose red. If I combine any, you know, you can get the green, all the different colors that you can combine with wool. You can get different colored painters when you combine them. Now, painters have an actual specific use in industrial craft. It's used in wiring, and if anybody really needs uh, instructions on that, go ahead and request a tutorial video on um, wiring with painters, and maybe I'll do one. Um, but you can look it up on the wiki. But basically what happens is if you have a bunch of wires running next to each other and you paint them, um, they won't connect to each other um, if they're different colors. So it's a nice way of having some stuff um, you know, connected differently. But with this stuff that we just sprayed down, I believe we can paint it by right-clicking it. Neat! And of course you can paint over it, and you can make it whatever color you want, provided you have a painter and uh, the right colors for it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we can even get some cactus here and cook it up and get some of the cactus green. You know, there's a bunch of different colors, of course, as you know. Uh, so let's go ahead and try that. Get some cactus green in there. I might have to do a brand new painter. Let's see if I can find it in TMI here. Yeah, there we go. Well, hey, there's even just the uh, standard one. So let's, yeah, let's get a green one. Hey, one out of blue, black, try them all out. Spiffy. So yeah, that's one of the cool things that you can do once you've uh, laid down your CF sprayer stuff. You can uh, go ahead and paint it make it whatever you want. I uh, hope you enjoyed scaffolding. I definitely, even if you're not going to use it for the CF sprayer, go ahead and use it to build with, because, like I said, acts as a ladder, and falls apart when you hit the bottom block. You can't really ask for much more than that. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this, and take it easy.